5488. What the? All right, hi, I'm Andrew. I'm a freshman at Harvard. And um, wow. here we go. You ready? Yep. All right. 56 times 89. Okay, 56 times 89. Well, 56 times 90 is 5600 minus 560. So now uh, that's 5040. And then uh, 56 times 89 is 5040 minus 56, which is 5000 minus 16, uh, 4990 minus 4984. Very good. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ivy League University to test some of the students did. In order to impress these two beautiful women, I will conduct an experiment first to earth and making it leak. Now let's drop the button. What we want you to do is measure this, uh, the volume of this thing using this ruler, and we want you to use the correct amount of sig figs while doing so. So okay. Let's say that you have a bowling ball, and that your bowling ball is traveling over a bowling lane that's 16.5 meters long. Then, after the bowling ball makes a strike, the bowler hears the strike 2.5 seconds after he drops the ball. So, what is the speed of the ball at, on the bowling lane? Assume that the speed is constant and that it, the speed of sound is 340 meters per second. You can use the notebook if you want. Oh, Let's say that you have the addition problem 500 plus 1.335. Taking account of significant figures, what is the answer? So 500 plus 1.335 is? Is? What is a significant figure? A signif How did you get into Harvard? Um. Ivy League students get nervous when they see me. Okay, you have my book and you have a napkin. Which one will drop fast? for the paper, but there wasn't any vacuum for the book. Who created this vacuum for the paper? The trains are approaching each other on parallel tracks. Each has a speed of 95 miles per hour with respect to the ground. They are initially 8.5 miles apart. How long will it be before they reach each other? Let's hold the bottle high. How many forces are acting on the bottle? If the velocity of something is zero, does its acceleration need to be zero? I think All right, so what is the equation for average velocity? That's going to be... Look at the next person. If the acceleration of something is zero, then does the velocity of that thing have to be zero, or can it be an actual number? Uh, yeah. All right, got it. Let's say a plane is at rest on a runway, constantly accelerating at 2 meters per second squared. So it gains 2 meters per second every second and it's on a 150 meter long runway and it needs to get to about 28 meters per second as soon as it takes off the runway. So is the runway of 150 meters long enough to sustain that kind of speed or does it need to be extended? Oh, I think this is a... All right, so can you tell me what is instantaneous velocity? Um. Instantaneous velocity is in our lesson. So what is average velocity? It is... But what really is average velocity? So what's acceleration? Acceleration. Oh my friggin' god! So what is constant acceleration? And what are the three laws that hold true under it? Alright, so do you know the difference between distance and displacement? Uh... How's it 376? Holy Jesus! 2304, which would be 48 times 48. That is correct. <laughs> Woo!